now that you know how to do a downward dog, we're going to come back into a downward dog and from there we're going to progress into some more aerial poses. So we'll begin as we do with downward facing dog, walking forward into the fabric, allowing it to slide into the fold of our upper thighs, leaning forward, release your body weight down to the floor, release your hands and step back into a downward facing dog position. Now you're going to see these handles just below your knees. You're going to take a hold of them and extend your arms towards the mirror. And let's come into a nice stretch here. Just reach. And if you want to, you can introduce a little bit of a sway here. Moving the left arm over to the right corner of the room. And then the other way. Now we're going to very carefully begin to tip your toe backward underneath the point of suspension until your feet just lift off the floor. Notice that the sling is resting just across the upper part of my thighs, just below the fold. It's not on my abdomen. And now from here we're going to come into what's known as bird pose, bringing the soles of the feet together, creating a little bit of a bird tail. And we're going to bring our arms to the side and we're going to do some fly presses. So releasing the chest to the floor, let the arms open up. And then we're going to press up and draw the hands together. So you can do as many of these as you like. We're just going to do four today. One more. There we go. And now we're also going to work out our triceps. So we're going to extend the arms straight forward and clasp the two foam grips firmly between our palms. And we're going to release our head down like that, bending at the elbows, dropping our hands behind the head. As you inhale, extend the arms straight, coming back up. Exhale, lower. If you find that this is very difficult, you can redistribute your body weight by extending your legs behind you. The closer you have your feet towards the front of your torso, the more weight shifts there and the more challenging the exercise. And we'll do one more. And now we'll just extend our hands straight forward and do a little side to side swing. And this little wriggle helps to stimulate circulation in the spine. And now we're going to come back onto the floor for our lotus pose. So, coming out of the aerial pose, be very careful. Make sure that either your feet or your hands make contact with the floor first. Don't let go of everything at once. So we put our feet down. Now we're going to release our hands. And then we're going to come back again underneath the point of suspension and rest on our elbows, bringing our feet back into bird. Now from here, again, you can introduce some nice big side-to-side swings. Make sure that you really just let your hips be heavy. Keep your belly firmly pressed in to protect and lengthen your lower back. And now we're going to transition into our locust pose. So open your legs nice and wide and bringing them around from the outside of the sling, create a toe hook. Slide your feet up a little bit if you like, and now move the chest away from the floor towards the back of the room. Extend your arms. <sighs> this is really good for lymph drainage and releasing toxins in the body. Draw your knees in for a little break and now just extend both legs and arms for a big full frontal stretch. <sighs> 